Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. In case you were living in a cave, uh, it's 2019, and that's the year that Case decided to release the Barlow from their vault. And here's one of them. I think they must have made at least a dozen different uh, types of Barlow. Some of them are uh, SFOs for different uh, uh, knife retailers also. This is one of them, I think. I, I got it through uh, SMKW, but I think uh, Case is uh, selling this through several other people too. I don't think it's an SFO for uh, for SMKW. I could be wrong. In any case, I picked this one up for two reasons. Uh, one of them is because of the bolster there. I think if you're going to get a Barlow, the Barlow should not have a shield. It should actually have uh, the markings on the bolster. The front side bolster is where the marking should be on a Barlow. That's my own personal taste. I love it when they put the markings into the bolster. Uh, really nice bolsters on this knife too, if you notice. It's slightly pinched at the top, which is a nice little touch. And you see the double X there, which stands for, you know, the case double X. Um, the bone material in this case is the uh, Peacock Appaloosa bone. Um, and I really love the coloring on the front side uh, with the aquamarine and the uh, blue. And a little bit of black in there and everything. Just looks fantastic. Um, back side has a little more blue in it and not nearly enough aquamarine. Uh, so I'm not as crazy about the back side as the front side. You can you, you can see the difference yourself. Um, now, if this was um, a fifteen dollar Rough Rider, I'd be more than pleased with uh, with the bone material, the way it looks. But with a sixty plus dollar knife, I think they could have done a little bit better job matching the bone. Um, and I think that's a problem that uh, Case has with a lot of their Appaloosa bone. I think they, they need to work a little bit harder on getting the, the two sides to match. In any case, let's move on. Um, there is more to this knife than just the bone. Uh, matter of fact, the bone is not the real reason I was picking the knife up. I, as, well, as much as I do like the bone and the uh, bolster, the real uh, selling point for this knife for me as you can tell from the fingerprints I've opened it before, is this Spearmaster blade. I just love a Spearmaster blade on a Barlow. Now most of the time you'll see a clip blade on it, but I like the uh, spear blade on it. If you notice, it's got a nice half stop. If you see the shield, I'm sorry, the tang stamp, the tang marks there. Notice it's got just uh, one little X left or whatever that marking is there little bit too small for me to make out uh, under that long tail C but because there's just one mark there that stands for the 2019 they're taking one thing off every uh, every year until they got down to just the, the single uh, marking left that single X left so that's why we know this is a 2019 and then on the other side we have the pin blade notice also with a half stop and we see the pattern number there, the 62009SS. The SS stands for the Case True Sharp Stainless Steel. The 6 is for bone material, the 2 is for two blades, and the 009 is for the actual pattern of the knife. So the 009 means Barlow. And let's see here. Open this up all the way. We'll start with the small blade first. We see here that the small blade is overall length is right at um, 1 and 15 sixteenths of an inch, which would be about 50 millimeters. And the uh, overall length of the cutting edge uh, looks like to be about 1 and uh, 5 eighths of an inch or about 42 millimeters. And then we can look at this main blade here. Notice the half stop on it also. Overall length of the main blade is a little bit over uh, two and a quarter inches, so maybe uh, two and five sixteenths or 62 millimeters. The cutting edge is right at two inches or 60, no, about 51 millimeters, I guess. Uh, and the closed length of the knife 
uh, right at three and three eighths of an inch or about uh, 85 millimeters. So that's your uh, sizes of the knife, which means it's pretty much a legal carry just about anywhere with a blade length that's uh, right under, right at two and a half inches long. Um, otherwise what you have, the, the bone is really smooth and it's, it's nice. The, uh, the pens are nice and flush. I mean, the fit and finish is fan fantastic. The only problem I have, like I mentioned, is that it doesn't match up as nicely as I wish it would. Um, brass pens, nickel silver bolsters with the double X in the front. Nice little pen. Uh, I'm sorry, pinch at the end. You can see there, nice brass uh, liners, uh, stainless steel back springs. And if we notice here, really nice walk and talk. Nice half stop going on. Nice and very positive. I guess it might be, uh, some people might see this as a little bit stiff, but I think it'll work in over time. Uh, nicely rounded. Just a, especially from the front side, it's just a fantastic looking knife. I am happy with the Appaloosa bone, I'm sorry, the Peacock Appaloosa bone. Um, and you do see there is all the green in there. It's just not as prevalent on the back side as on the front side. Um, I guess I've uh, talked too much about the bone and making people think maybe I don't really like the knife, but really it is a fantastic knife. I'm very happy to have it. And uh, and it's got the blade choices that I really like. I just love that uh, Spear Master blade on there. I think it's just a fantastic blade choice to have the spear blade instead of the clip blade. And the polish on it is really nice. A nice finish on it. There's no doubt. Mirror polish. And uh, really just kind of happy to have it. The uh, actual number on this one is 22549. That's the uh, case number for it. Uh, it does come in the uh, flag box. And uh, when I ordered it, I also picked up some of this. The case metal polish paste, uh, or case paste. I have used it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use it a little bit more. So far, I've been pretty pleased with it. I, I'm kind of happy with the case paste, too. Um, I'll talk more about case paste in some other video. But first time I picked it up is only $4, so I figured I'd throw that in. I actually used the uh, $4 of the case paste to... Uh, bring my uh, my cell over the uh, that $100 mark don't tell my wife so that I got free shipping the things you do for free shipping but yeah there you have it that's my uh, case uh, Barlow for from the 2019 vault in uh, uh, Peacock Appaloosa bone very happy with it and I really love that double X bolster Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats, and if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.